Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC, and welcome to my YouTube channel. The purpose of my videos is to introduce you to tips that will help you elevate your job search by interviewing experts in the field. And if you are a first time watcher or listener, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification every day I post a new video and a new content. So let's start with today's interview. Hi. Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series with me. Today I have the privilege to interview Pablo Gonzalez. Hi Pablo, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Meher. The privilege is all mine, my friend. I appreciate being here. Thank you for being here. So Pablo has a deep desire to connect with people and build, build community. So in that sense, Pablo, can you tell us more about yourself and also in terms of your entrepreneurship uh, journey, what obstacles are you having? How are you keeping yourself motivated? And tell us more about yourself. Absolutely, man. I've been obsessed with human connection my whole life, right? I like to tell people that I'm the most American person in my family. We left Venezuela when I was two. My first real formative memory was walking into my preschool class in Miami, be, knowing that I was the only kid that didn't speak English and figuring out how to fit in. And at that age, you, you're kind of a sponge and you learn language quickly. But then a, a year later, we moved to Spain where I enrolled in a British school. And once again, I didn't understand the Spanish dialect or the English dialect, even though I knew both languages technically. And that set me on this life path of always seeing the world as an outsider on the inside. And even though I fit in very seamlessly in Hispanic culture and American culture and Basically, everywhere I go, I, I still always keep that perspective. And, and I was always the kid that befriended adults. And as I became an adult, now I'm the adult that befriends kids. And I have friends that are 20, 30 years older than me. And I really, really lean into that stuff. So that's who I am. As far as my entrepreneurial journey goes, I've had a very squiggly path, right? Like it's, it's always been, it's always been a, a learning experience, but I graduated college in 2003 when the world was under a lot of construction, at least the United States was under a lot of construction. And I got this executive and training uh, program at a fortune 500 company that formed me as an executive. And I moved to Orange County, California, where at 24 years old, I was managing 150 people in a $50 million operation. From there, I became a green building expert in 2008 when the world kind of collapsed. I moved back to Miami and I started a green building construction uh, consulting company which two years later got acquired by my biggest customer, which that was a huge international conglomerate builder. So that was my first foray into entrepreneurship. I did well. I, I, I experienced the same kind of setbacks and, and, and wins and things that I'm learning from that I'm applying now. Then I went into work for that conglomerate for seven years and learned a lot there. And, and most importantly, I, I learned the value of getting involved in my community because I had started doing that and because I leaned into all that stuff, I, I, I got into this whole community creation for mm -hmm. business development, which then transitioned my career from a director of sustainability at this big company where I was just kind of on an island, hired to fix a problem with a diminishing marginal return on their investment on me as, as time went on, to being a business developer. And once I, once I peered through that veneer and I realized that this thing could work, I looked for an opportunity to showcase this business development through community creation hypothesis in a different kind of market, right? Not a local market. And I got the opportunity to become the VP of business development for a, a tech startup up in Jacksonville that served e-commerce entrepreneurs. I went, I did that, implemented my program there. It was very, very successful in really sustaining this company and pivoting it during a very, very hard time where the software was kind of not working and uh, the CEO had had a couple high profile battles that made us lose touch with some of the customer base and our head developer quit and we got a, 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 a new uh, competitor all in my first three months there, but bringing together our customer base in a specific way that I, that I did really, first of all, created $200,000 worth of revenue out of, out of thin air. And, and, and really was able to sustain the momentum and reduce the customer churn and create all this content that we created. And then at the end of the year, I decided that that partnership wasn't really for me. And the beginning of this year, I kind of took this three month purposeful pause to figure out who I want to be in 10 years. And instead of falling in love with my next opportunity, 
I, I, I wanted to really just set a goal and reverse engineer it. And that's what set me on this path of really proving this community creation for business development on a grander scale as a consultant to multiple people, as a public speaker, uh, as somebody that is helping people learn how to network and build relationships online and things of that sort. And uh, here I am, man. It's, it's really starting to, you know, my first business took about like a year and two, three months to to really make any money. And by the end of year two, I was making pretty good money and then I got acquired. So now I'm eight months into this business. I'm, 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 I'm capitalizing. Things are starting to go well. And, and I'm, I I now have this like influx of new customers after landing my first big customer, not that long ago. And he was luckily a high profile customer, which is really a great test study for me. And uh, that's where I'm at, man. I'm just mission driven right now to, to prove this whole community creation value and and the idea that everybody has some kind of value and you can get really good at understanding what the other person knows that you don't know, which everybody has that and putting it on a stage and how everybody benefits from that. And it's, it's been a trip, man. It's been really interesting. Right. Thank you for sharing your story. And in terms of uh, being staying motivated while uh, things are not looking well or the money is not coming, how are you keeping in that sense? It's interesting that you ask me this now, right? Because I, I, I find that I have this rhythm where I'll, I'll have like, I don't know if it goes by the moon or, or what it is, right? But I'll have these like two to three weeks where I'm just crushing hard. And then I go into one, two, three, four, five days where I'm just kind of down on myself. And I'm really coming on the, I'm on the back end of one of those like three day spells, right? So I think a lot about how to mitigate that. And I think a lot about how, you can save a hundred dollars a month for two years and then blow 20 grand in one crazy night. Right. So I, I think life is like that too. And I think it's all about making sure that when you are down, cause you will inevitably be down. Right. And we've talked about this metaphor of this like upward spiral where as you're, as you're moving up in your trajectory, it's kind of this like ongoing spiral. But when you're on like the downside of the spiral, even though you're up, you feel like you're down here, but you're up here. So I think it's perspective, man. I think it's, it's really just keeping the perspective of don't let the bottom fall out. Try to anchor yourself to certain habits that can snap you into shape and snap you back in like exercise, like journaling, like meditation. I like to surf, right? If there's surf out, that's really, really easy for me to, to do, which is one of the reasons I moved to Jacksonville. And when all of that stuff isn't working, I just reach out to people. Right. I, I just, I just connect with people like you. I connect with other people that I admire and just pick their brains. And when you find out that everybody, no matter how successful goes through those downs, mm-hmm. it, it can give you that perspective that, that doesn't let the bottom fall out and keeps you on that path. Cause like they say, right, like 99% of life is just showing up. So you just gotta, you just gotta keep taking that bass and, and, and keep going for it. Yeah, great. Thank you again, Paolo, for sharing that. And for the audience watching for the first time, so in the next five days, we'll have a journey with Pablo. I'm going to ask him a series of questions and I'm going to post them daily. So tune in every day to see what we are talking about. And if you like this uh, video, please like and share, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Pablo.